the BMG ether. Um, and then it, if I want to do it piping, I can just name the original objects, which is have the WGS84 assigned to it. And I just say ST transform. And then I specify the CRS as British National Grid. Uh, sorry, as, um, yeah, British National Grid. Yeah. So I'll, I'll load it again to make sure I've actually done it. So it's currently WGS84. But if I do this, that new object, Burberry BNG SF, will be projected with the British National Grid. Um, and then if I, if I just print the contents of the object, it actually tells you projected CRS British National Grid. So we just, I just, so to rerun the plot, or was it not? I don't, oh yeah. So yeah, can, I can rerun the plot. I think yeah, it, I it should look. change the projection to something I'd expect to see. You can see the geometry column is different as well. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. Yeah. So it's, it's actually no longer, no longer latitude and longitude. And now the geometry comment has the... It is in the plot though, is it? Or is that because you've set the... Or yeah, so interestingly, like if I, if I load the data and I tell it it's WG, WGS84, the map actually uses, appears to be using Eastings and Northings, right? Yeah, no. but the labels are not. I oh, know, sorry, that, that is latitude and longitude, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Um, but if I if I reproject it to British National Grid, I think it will still say Westings and yeah, it will the, the, I think by default it still uses right. latitude and longitude. So you have to tell it to project it in a different yeah, so well, this, this is a bit confusing. It's a label, so, isn't it? You have to tell yeah. it to label it differently. Yeah, it, it's, reassign it's, the labels. Yeah, that's a bit confusing actually, because basically that map here that is projected with the British National Grid. It's just by default labeling it with latitude and longitude. Yeah, um, which is a bit misleading, but I, I know that you can change that. That that you you would add another layer. I'll look at what it is, and you, you basically just say, um, uh, can you change the uh, the labels to British National Grid. Yeah. That's basically it. And you could do it the other way around too. Um, so just for people who weren't there, Andy pointed out that um, when we when we reproject, so for, the, for those who weren't there at all, okay, we load in the data as uh, we tell R that the latitude and longitude coordinates are WGF eighty four with the four three two six, and then we and then when we plot that. When we plot those points, you'll notice that it looks correct because we've used the correct CRS. And you'll notice is that the the axes on this map are latitude, latitude and longitude, which which makes sense, of course, because that's how we've projected it. Uh, well, that's the CRS that we're using. But if we then we can then reproject the data, which is completely fine. That's something I didn't quite mention. So it's important that you tell are what CRS the data is you're using but once you've done that you can then reproject it to something else so this is Manchester so although the raw data is latitude and longitude coordinates um, once we've told it it's WG84 we can then reproject it to the British National Grid which is probably what probably what you should be doing especially if you're conducting if you're going to be measuring distances or something like that so th this bit of code here that I've highlighted we create a new object called Burberry BMG SF from that original object. And we say FT transform CRS equals, and then 27700, which is that, you know, that unique ID, but for the British National Grid. So we run, oh, it's given me a, my laptop's being very slow today and it gives me this error sometimes, but so we create a new object and that's now uh, projected in the British National Grid. And if we just run the object, you know, like print the object to the to the console, you can see that it tells us the, that it's a projected CRS and it's in the British National Grid. And as Julia pointed out, it actually also changes the geometry coordinates. So those coordinates are now no longer latitude, latitude and longitude. These are British National Grid Eastings and Northings coordinates. But if we then uh, plot those points that have been projected with the British National Grid. It's still been slow, but it will get there eventually. You'll notice it, look, it looks correct because 
uh, we've we've transformed it. it. It's still correct. It's British National Grid, but the 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 actually they're actually still latitude and longitude. They're they're still um, it still kind of looks like it might be in the four three two CRH, which is a little bit misleading because it has been it, it's projected with the British National Grid, but the axes imply that it's latitude and longitude, and I imagine that's just some kind of default of GG plot. Uh, to make it more sort of international or, or generic. Um, but I just, I had to Google it because I, I don't actually bother changing the axes too much, but there's an, an additional line you can add. So I use the plus sign and then I add quad under, underscore FF. And then I basically state that I want the coordinates of the visual, just the visual specifically to be 27700, which is the British National Grid. And if I run that, then it changes the axes, and this is now showing me Eastings and Northings, which is British National Grid. Um, so again, that's just a, that's a visual component. There was nothing wrong with the map before. The map before was correctly projected, um, but the axes were uh, latitude and longitude. Um, so it's, this is more like a, a maybe a, a depends who your audience is. Uh, if you're an international audience, you might want to stick with latitude and longitude coordinates. But if it's specifically a British audience or, uh, you know, people with a particular love for the British National Grid, then maybe you want to specify that the axis should also be British National Grid. Um, yeah.